So today, after an evening of my friends helping me work out how to use my sewing machine, because I've never used one before, um, I am now sewing the hem of what will be a um, curtain to disguise the recycling area in the kitchen. So I'm going to create a little curtain using uh, this pack here. So I'm going to effectively use this to uh, hang under the counter this curtain. So I'll show you how we get on. line of sorts. It's not perfect, but it is my first bit of sewing in my machine. This is one I bought at Christmas, <laughs> at the Christmas fair. I haven't touched it since, so uh, yeah. Really pleased with this little effort so far. Now I've got to do the other sides. And the top. There we go. So having done the sides, I am now pinning in a wire, um, which I have put a eye on one end, and I will sew that along so that that's in there, and then I can just slide it across the rest of this material to gather it, and then I will put the hooks. In the under counter and this will then just slot onto there or at least that's the theory so next I'll show you is whether that's worked here we go just going to install these hooks these little hooks one under here and one under here and that will allow me to hang that curtain so there we go there's one curtain hiding the worst of it. Yes, there's a gap at the bottom, but that's to do with the length of the material that was available. And actually, I don't want it dragging on the floor, getting dirty. So it just gives it that, hides it away, but it's easily to pull back. And there we have the tea towels, where I store those the glass and the recycling there so just and uh, shopping bags so that just keeps it all nice and tidy out of the way and it's quite pretty so there we are it just tidies that up a little bit for us and that makes me feel so much calmer so now time to just put things back where they belong there we are perfect so it's only taken Tiff a year, but nearing the end of her first week here this year and the weather has just about perked up enough that she can take the ride on mower out, it's dry enough, and start cutting the lawn. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, well I'm very happy Tiff. She is? Who knew country life had such attractions for city girls?
so today we've come to the um, producers market and night market in Montbron. There's supposedly 200 stalls of artisans and food here. So. There we go, my friends are off at the clothes. But there's toys, there's bags, there's food, there's meat, there's cognac, there's pinot, there's beer, all sorts here. Garlic. I thought it's really, really pretty. And we've come across this fantastic rum cellar. All sorts of flavoured rums, cocoa and banana, pineapple, lychee, salted caramel, coconut, and really reasonable prices. We are being treated to some rare and unusual music in the clouds. Fantastic architecture around here though. 200 plus exhibitors here. We're currently queuing for tickets. What they do is you queue for a ticket to get your food and then you go over and you get your food. So this is the vehicle, uh, which is the old school, that's what that means, La Vie Ecole. And they have just opened a lovely tea rooms in Les Inacturons. Unfortunately, the weather's a bit naff today. Myself and friends have come out for afternoon tea, uh, or as we like to call it, brunch. <laughs> and she'll probably be taking a doggy bag, but hey, who knows? But look at this beautiful and stunning view they have here. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's like a little mini brocante. And just over here is where they serve all the teas. And I'm sure in the nicer weather, everybody be sat out all around here. So for 18 euros a head, you get tea and coffee, and you get sandwiches, trio sandwiches, sausage rolls, cheese sticks, and pinwheels. And before we snaff it all, I thought I'd better just film it because we're we're rather enjoying the starting this. There's lots of booming noises coming. <laughs> So for our sins, we are out at the Solid Cochon and we're going to be doing karaoke because this one is a So after that assault on your senses, uh, I thank you once again for joining us. I hope you've had a good giggle watching us and uh, enjoying the adventures of the past week. So wherever you are, I hope you're having a fantastic day and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>